Recording in progress. Good afternoon, Hillman Cancer Center. Happy Friday to you. I'm Danielle Katrina, the project manager for the Wellness and Integrative Oncology Program. This is Angela Zaganini, our lifestyle dietitian slash registered dietitian. She got the cred, <laughs> the street cred and the real cred. <laughs> We're so excited to be here this Friday. The sun's a little peeking out, feels a little good. This has felt like the longest week ever, um, ever. So today we are bringing to you Anytime Bars. Um, it's a really good thing that you didn't join us on Wednesday. We got all of our mistakes out. So you are going to see a very less flawed Hopefully smooth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> More smooth. Yeah. So Ange, kick us off about these bars. Yes. So again, this recipe is brought to you by Rebecca Katz, um, her Cancer Fighting Kitchen Cookbook. It is found on page 125. The Anytime Bars can be eaten anytime, that's the name. Now, you can also find this on her blog. So if you don't have the cookbook at home, you could simply Google Anytime Bars uh, with Rebecca Katz's name and it'll come up and you can print that just like I did here. So these Anytime Bars, we actually, you wanna show them what we made? Yes. Um, we made these on Wednesday. They're right? pretty good. They're so good. I mean, in, let's just say about 120 calories, you said, per bar. Um, so I'm just going to pick this out because I'm most likely going to eat this one after. <laughs> but it's a nice size bar. I will say it goes lovely with a cup of coffee, um, especially a nice afternoon treat. I'm a person that gets, I need something sweet in the afternoon. So this is like perfect. And just, we're going to keep this whole batch for I love week. it. Yeah. So what's cool about these bars is, you know, when you go and purchase a protein bar from the store. They tend to be really crunchy, they're dry. These are actually, they have a little crunch, but they're also pretty moist. Yeah, and it, chewy, yes. I really like the consistency. We almost felt like it was like the outside of the egg was almost like a brownie consistency, yep. like that edge. So it was really, <laughs> don't mess with it. Um, it was really good. So you're gonna like these, and you know what, we're gonna talk a little bit more about like the different things that you can put in here. So. Um, all of these ingredients can be easily your pantry items for quite some time. So yes, it's kind of a big one-time buy because there's some things in here that you wouldn't necessarily use every day, but you're going to get many uses out of them. That's so, okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, this recipe, we're first going to start, oh, well, yeah. what we did already okay. was, um, baked, pecans and almonds in the oven at 325. You can keep them in there for about seven to 10 minutes, depending on how brown they get. You just want them slightly browned and you'll start to smell that like nutty. Do you smell it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, nutty flavor into your kitchen. So they can burn easily. So you don't want to do that. Um, first ingredient is going to be brown rice flour. You can also use a coconut flour or a gluten-free flour if you do have celiac or if you're just following a gluten-free diet. So four tablespoons of our brown rice flour. The next recipe is going to be ground flaxseed. So you definitely want to purchase a ground flaxseed. Um, you could find whole flaxseed. Don't do it. Yeah. And if you were to find only whole flaxseeds in your grocery store, use a food processor to grind them up before you utilize them. Two they tablespoons of that. Sell these at all these. So you can find them at a really great price as well. So save yourself the headache and the trouble. Yep. All right. So two tablespoons of the flaxseed. The next ingredient is going to be salt. It calls for a quarter teaspoon. We're just going to throw that in there. Um, next is going to be baking powder and baking soda. And I think the combination of the two made it rise a little bit. Yeah. Because I feel like if not, it could have been more crunchy and dry, honestly. Um, all right. So we have baking powder and baking soda. Both call for an eighth of a teaspoon. Yep. I know, and I always say I'm not a baker because I you do know. have to be so specific yeah. or you do you get know. a really flat product. We're like, Ew, exactly. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Okay. So you have the salt? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we're going to put that lid on. Make sure the chop is on the left side. Oh, I got it. Maybe not. Nope. <laughs> we 
in this there we second go. page. Yeah. I'm you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's good. Okay. We're going to <laughs> we're going to add the pecans and the almonds. So Ange, can I um hack this up? Yes. Okay. So good idea. Yeah. So we figured out if you do have um a small food presser processor. You're going to want to hack this recipe up. It will not take the full amount. We discovered very quickly. I was all trying to make it work, but it didn't. Um, so save, save yourself the problem. I'm not kidding. And you're all, you're like all nervous, Nelly over there. You got to turn that. All right. Hey. Okay. Okay. She's like, this is why I'm nervous, Nelly. An idiot. No, this thing is very touchy, and I'm sure if you have a food processor at home, you know that these parts have to be on yeah. very correct, unless, you know, you want a little mess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, so you're going to add the pecans and the almonds. You're going to pulse five times. Start Seriously, here. Why would I can't do it? Start on this side. And then, no. This way? Yeah. Oh, I'm good. Chop always has to stay on the left. Yeah. Okay. Can I do it a little bit? Can I do it a little bit? Yes. Yeah. It was just like a couple. Of okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now we're adding oats and dates. Oats and dates. Not oats. Apricots and dates. Oats and, and dates. Right. Yeah. So you're just gonna be, are you going to do half and half? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to. Yeah. So another thing too, like, I don't know about you guys, but you know, if you have a lot of leftover baby stuff, like raisins, apricot, dates, any sort of dried fruit, you can use it. Cranberries. Cranberries. Yeah, yeah any of that. So it doesn't have to be specific to this recipe. It also could just be to your taste. Good. Whatever you want. Perfect. Okay. Yep. And then what's our, what's our measurement? So it's well, a cup, a cup for the, um, the recipe calls for apricots and dates. So one cup of each, it's going to be a quarter cup oh. of the oats. Thank you. Okay. So we added the nuts. We added all the dry ingredients. Now we're adding the oats, dates, and we don't have any more apricots because we made this recipe on Wednesday. So we're adding raisins, which we had in our pantry. Again, which is something you could definitely do. I know, but I am sad because I love apricots. I know. Huge apricots. They're, they're a great ingredient. Okay. Um, okay. Are we pulsing? You're pulsing. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Okay, sorry. Wait, I just, I looked at, no, no, there you go. Uh, How many times am I pulsing? <laughs> uh, ten. Got this now. No worry. <laughs> Four. Is that it? Yep. All right. So yeah, gonna, then I can throw this here and I'll do this one. Then. Okay. So what I'm going to do on the side is start mixing all the wet ingredients. So the wet ingredients are maple syrup, vanilla extract, and one whole egg. So it calls for one whole egg, I already said that, five tablespoons of your maple syrup. Please make a mess whenever I I mean, this is a very messy recipe. It, it really is. And the, yeah. the thing is, we want to make this easy and simple for you to do at home. Of course, purchasing a protein bar is easy and convenient, and you don't have to go through all this thing. But we like this product. It tastes good. It's low in calories. It's decent amount of protein, high in fiber, and it can stay in an airtight container up to five to seven days. So this is a good breakfast snack. It's a good in-between meal snack. It's also good to bring to treatment with you and snack on it instead of having the stuff that they provide you. Um, if you want something a little more filling, you know? I'm going to mix this now. Like that awkward. All right, there we go. Okay. Okay. So, next ingredient is just one teaspoon of vanilla extract, which Danielle tossed this all over the floor on Wednesday. Oh, I know. So, I think we have just the right amount. All right, on to the grocery list. Yes. Okay. So, what you'll do is you'll whisk this together. Thank you. Yep. 
So, and, um, oh, let me talk about where we got everything. Yes. So this is a little bit of uh, um, from everywhere. This is some of our pantry items that we got at Trader Joe's, some Whole Food items, some Aldi items. So really, truly, you can find most of this um, at any grocery store. A little bit more costly, um, just because you're buying bags like this that you're not gonna use right away. But again, they can remain in your pantry. Um, I, like honestly, I think I'm gonna make this at home. Good. Yeah. Oh, like this would totally be one of those things. My husband and I are big protein. Brought my kids in their protein. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So we have all of our dry ingredients, our fruit mixture, all combined from the food processor. That you're then gonna add the wet ingredients that we just whisked together and pour right on top. And what you can do to really Make get it. this in is use your hands and just kind of knead it like that. For you, this should be interesting, and. Okay, so you can just see, just like, it's not as, we're Italian, so if you've made homemade dough or noodles, woo, but this <laughs> is not that, so, and it's a really, um, compared to the energy ball bites that we did a couple weeks ago, I feel like that this is a little bit easier. Yeah, you're that, right. I felt like got really sticky. They were good. It's sticky because we did use nut butter. Yeah, nut butter, right? it was just like, it, it wasn't, this is a little bit more um, soft, so that's all. Just a little bit. Okay. And then we're just gonna put this in it. We have a pan, a smaller pan. We used a bigger one on Wednesday, but and we just cut it in half. You do want to oil the pan just with like a I drizzled oil and uh, rubbed it with a paper towel so that it got all the edges as well. What's really nice about this recipe too is once you have it baked, it's gonna have this crispy edge. Yes, it That's so good. I was like, give me all the edges. I know. Um you know, remember like on airplanes when we used to travel on those and like the uh, magazine there was always like you know the random like stuff that you could buy it was an s-shaped brownie pan so that every bite you had had an edge how did i not know this oh because i'm older than you that's but, amazing so and that's what this that. needs to be is it have that s shape that can i'm sure you google it on amazon now this was like back in the day before amazon became mm -hmm. so the superpower um yeah, so that edge is almost like a brownie edge, yeah. like real crunchy, so and almost like a burnt taste, yes. but not burnt. No, it's a brownie edge. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then the inside is nice and moist. So same thing here, guys. We did a half. We did a half one for you too. We just wanted them a little bit thicker. You can add, you want them really thin. You can spread this out a bit more, but we want ours to be a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put the hands sure. the rest of it. Now this recipe actually calls for. Um, it will make. I'm sorry, 25 servings. Oh yeah. So we're making them a bit bigger, a lot thicker. Let's spread that out. Yeah. So no, it's fine. I kind of like them like that. Yeah. So keep in mind, you know, the nutrient serving um, analysis is based on 25 bars. So the 120 calories had to be a yeah. This big. I know. But then I was looking at the book and I'm like, what she has in that picture? Don't they don't look small? Let me see. Oh yeah, no, they definitely don't. You know, small. like I don't know how close that picture is. Honestly, but though, no, and I don't like, know. Look at the picture. Those are pretty nice size. Don't I'm gonna think? spread this out. Okay, you want to make it thinner? Yeah, we're gonna make it thinner because once because you're not getting 25 bars out of this. Definitely not. For sure, we're not. So that's gonna make it different, um, nutrient wise and consistency. Yeah. So I mean, again, portion control. Is it important? No. <laughs> Wasn't gonna be a topic. <laughs> so Danielle forgot the dates, but we're good. We have raisins. Wait, wait, wait. I wish the sushi. When you were under, it you is your boss's job. job. <laughs> well, that should have been your first thing, not to put me. Meanwhile, in I've been like hoarding the recipe, so you don't even look at it. True. Um, <laughs> this is true. Okay, it's my fault. Partially my fault. All right. So this is a little bit, and honestly, I feel like here we would probably get. I would say three and about four rows. So this is about 12 then. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Wednesday, we made 15. Yeah. So, so whatever. <laughs> Maybe the dates make it bigger. <laughs> so we throw this in the oven then for a little bit. And then honestly, guys, this is a great bulk thing to cook on a Sunday yes. weekend or during the week, whenever you have time. Um, that, like Ann said, you can take with you the treatment. You will be very famous in treatment. Yeah. And everybody will be very jealous. You can actually bring your extras to all the other patients. Exactly. They love it. Yeah. So, so you move um, 325 again. The oven is set to when you're toasting the nuts. So you could just keep your oven at 325. And then you're going to bake these for about 25, 30 minutes. 
And keep an eye on them though, because you don't want them to get burnt, obviously. Um, so we're just gonna set those, our ovens uh, rotates and it's pretty quick. So the other day I probably did it for about 18 minutes and they were cooked to oh, a yeah, good good. Yeah. I really wanted them to still have that moisture with the crispy edge. So, and we, we did that. Yeah, even though we made a mess of the process. We, I mean, we, continue, we made less, but that's still my thing. Yep. Uh, next week, we will be bringing to you tuna melt quesadillas. So yes. join us for that. A little bit different, but it's going to be pretty easy. I'm pretty excited about it because I want that for lunch. I'm like, oh, yes. Like right now. Yeah. I, know, I mean, not right now, but you know. But right now. Lunch, right. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us. We hope you have a great weekend, and we hope to see you back here next Wednesday at 9 a.m. Thanks, guys.